How's it going guys? Um, this is the second video. I was saying that what we're going to do in this video is show how to add health pickups within the game. So when the player sees the health pickup, he'll run to the health pickup um, and he will collect um, health and the pickup will disappear. Sort of like so. So I was just testing this out. Um, so if hit play, that little box, just for testing purposes, is the health pickup. If you run towards it, you can see in the top left hand side there was a print string called picked up health and the cube disappeared. So that's their health pickup done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? So that's one I created earlier. I'm just going to delete that because you don't need it. Force delete is right. Okay, so in order to set up a health pickup within Unreal Engine 4, um, just another thing as well before we get to that, I did mention in the last video that Unreal Engine 4 is actually free to download. The only time you'd have to pay something is, um, say you publish your game and it makes like a million dollars, um, you'd have to pay five, maybe 10% on that, I'm not exactly sure, but it's free to download anyway. So just go, just type in Unreal Engine 4 in your, your browser and just download it that way off the website. But anyway, so back to the health pickup. In your content browser here, you just right click on the content browser and you go to Blueprint, Blueprint Class. And what you wanna do is you wanna select an actor. Right, well, we'll just name this health pickup. I will double click to open the health pickup. Now, on the left hand side here where it says components, you want to add a component. And what you want to add is a static mesh. Okay, I'm just going to name this health pickup. Health pickup, done. And then once you've done that, if you go on over to the right hand side where it says static mesh, in here, you'll have a drop down menu. Now, just for testing purposes, we're just going to use a cube. If you have any models that you've created or you took something from the likes of the Sketchfab website and you exported it into, um, well, imported it into Unreal, then this will be in the drop down menu here, whatever you name the file as. But just for now, we'll use the cube, okay? Now that's way too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press R and I'm going to scale this down, okay? Scale it down to about there. That's all good. And it's very simple. All we have to do now is scroll down on the right hand side and you'll see here on component begin overlap. We want to click on the plus symbol which will bring us to the blueprints, okay? So once we're here on begin overlap I'm going to drag off from other actor and I want to cast to third person character. Alrighty. And then what we want to do is we want to drag off that and we want to type in set player health. So mine's set player health because remember in the first video we named the variable player health. Okay. Now coming off the green here where it says player health, what you want to type in is float plus float, okay? So the variable that we create is a float. So say the health is at 50%, okay? It's at 0 0.5 because the default value of health is one. So what, in order to pick up health, we need to add another float to the existing float value. So this is how, it's, this is how it goes. So we'll drag off as the person character and we'll type in get player oh get player health and uh, we will then add that into here and down below this is where we'll set the value so every time um, a player picks up health let's say I want to add a quarter of the health um, value um, to their actual overall health so that would be 0 0.25 okay and then we want to drag this third person character over to the target and then once they pick up the health I want to make sure that it's working so within Unreal you have what's called a print string now this is only available when you're um, developing the game okay and it's just for testing purposes so you can type in whatever you want just to make sure that it's working so I'm just going to type in 
health picked up and just to show you so you know if you hit the little drop down menu there go to text color we'll change it to green just for the same color as the health just just to show you anyway and then after that I want the actor to disappear okay so what you type in is destroy actor and it should all work <laughs> so click compile and then we'll close this down for now we'll bring the health pickup actor into the scene and we'll drag it up and we'll press play and let's walk into it oh oh yeah okay so something I forgot there okay it's very very simple so just hit escape back into the health pickup there's collision presets on the actor so back into the viewport click on the cube scroll down the right hand side where you'll see collision here and in collision presets it's already set to block all dynamic so you've got two options here you can overlap all dynamic so anything that's moving that moves into the um, actual message self it will you will be able to go through it or you can click overlap all we'll use overlap all for now okay click compile minimize that press play and it should work this time there you go health picked up on the le top left hand corner and the actor disappeared so that's exact as simple as that that's how you add health within the game systems um, I mean there's ways of designing the health to look better there's signs you can add in as well we could look at that down the road but that is super simple to do that's how easy game dev is when you know what you're doing don't get me wrong um, you can struggle um, with things as well but this is the basics for now it's pretty good in the next video I'm going to show how to damage the player and then I might look at some animations in that okay I'm actually thinking maybe I'm going to run like a series on how to build like a 2d game um, I think that would probably be more interesting but for now thank you if you've any questions or anything related to it please just you know type into the comments box and if you could like and subscribe that would be cool too um, otherwise uh, have a good day and uh, enjoy your game dev journey